Hi guys, it's Black Rao here again. And today I want to talk about what is the best class. So from all the classes you can choose from, what happens is after you play the prologue mode, you get all the rewards from prologue. I think there's 10 levels. You go next into region, and basically you gain all you gain all the class regions. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can choose from any of these six, and you can swap between each one of them. So you can easily kind of work on whichever class you want to, but you kind of have to make a choice of which ones you want to level up and get cards of. So what I think is, if you want to go for like your stronger cards, which I think are Demacia and Phrasor in the beginning, and you can double down by leveling up these one of these two or both of them at the same time, and you can get a lot of cards from these two classes and make your current deck stronger, basically, because the beginner, the beginner class I think is Demacia and Freylord, and buffing them will make that deck stronger. It should help you gain more XP. But then I think the best class might be Shadow Isles. So you can kind of, if you want to just go straight for like the best class, perhaps, you can start leveling Shadow Isles and getting those cards. The thing is, I think it's a lot harder to level because if you try to go Shadow Isles, you don't really have a good deck already. And then all the cards you're getting are Shadow Isles, so then eventually your deck will become stronger. But the thing is, when you win a game, you gain 250 EXP, which is like one of the first levels. But when you lose, you only gain 25 EXP. So basically, when you win, you get 10 times more EXP than when you lose. So you you are really incentivized to win. And in order to win, you need to have a good deck, right? So I think that's what kind of makes it hard to decide, like, what class should you go for? So... In short, I really think if you go straight for Demacia or Freylord, you'll make your. I feel like it'll go easier time leveling up versus going straight for Shadow Isles. But if you go straight for Shadow Isles, your deck will eventually become really strong and you'll probably be able to take on all the other classes. So, but it might be a slower grind to get enough EXP to get all those cards because when you go when you level up. You have to grind through a lot and i think shadow isles is the best deck because basically because they have all this removal if you look at this they have ruination you can kill all the cards instantly clear a lot of like annoying cards but it's not really even this card it's just vengeance is even cheaper you, you can literally execute like any card because a lot of people play like around a champion or a hero and kind of defend it, block it like Fiora or something. Vengeance could really just kill her and end it right there. Another thing is they have so much removal that you kind of counter a lot of decks, like Grass of Undying. You can kill a Fiora, you can kill a lot of like Lucians, you can kill a bunch of cards. And it really stops them from doing their plan. And a lot of aggro decks too, such as the Poison decks, or if they just hit your face fast, or even like Noxus that does damage to your health, healing yourself keeps you alive more and more. And this this deck has a lot of healing cards as well. I think the Undying is debatably a really good card, but you can say, a lot of people say like, yeah, it doesn't do much, but it's basically impossible to remove. Like no one basically runs any card to remove it. So once you play on the board, it just sticks forever. And then, of course, they have Vile Feast, which is alright. I think their best removal card is the Black Spear. When well, now it dies you through damage, so it's another removal. So you you can just basically destroy anyone's plan to combo you. And then he also has really good like late game removal against big monsters with this with the Vengeance. And then you also have like Raza, Sunder. You have so much tools to just dismantle the enemy's gameplay and I think that's in the end it's going to make the difference because a lot of classes don't have vengeance they can't really deal with strong units or to kill them easily or have even a way to kill them but this deck has so many different ways to deal with minions that I think it's easily going to be become the best deck thank you guys for watching if you guys like my video please like subscribe and follow for future content I'll see you guys next time